Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and we're going to learn about an infinite series to calculate pi. Now, if you're like me, you're probably pretty good at math in school if you're watching a video like this. And I've all, I always liked math because I was good at it. But it wasn't until calculus that I really started to appreciate math for what it was. And maybe you're the same way. And this is one of the series here that really got me to see the beauty of mathematics. And this is the Gregory and Lightman's formula for pi. It's about 1674. And the formula is kind of this. 1 minus 1 third plus a 1 fifth minus a 1 seventh plus a 1 ninth dot 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 dot. Repeat that forever and you get pi over 4. And I remember when I first saw this, I was like, well, okay, that's a really cool little fact. I thought it was a cool little thing, and then I started learning more about it. And this becomes a series here that I came up with, or they came up with separately. And a series is this, pi over four is equal to the sum from k equals one to infinity of a negative one to the k plus one power over two k minus one. And when you start learning with calculus, this little series here, is you kind of learn how to plug that in, and there's so many great things that you can do with these infinite series. And it is really cool, the idea that you can have a series that goes on forever that converges to a value that's irrational. Pretty good statement right there. Now, I always adapted this formula, multiplied four to both sides, and I would write it like this. 4 minus 4 over 3 plus 4 over 5 minus 4 over 7 plus 4 over 9, and you get the gist. And that's going to equal your pi. Now, if you're like me, you started adding this in your calculator and seeing what it would come up to be. And it was taking a while to get anything that closely resembles pi. And that's because you need about 300 terms here to get about two decimal places. Two decimal places of accuracy right there. This is about 300 turns, which is a lot. And there's actually many series that go and converge to pi much, much quicker. And you can look those up and maybe we'll have videos about that in the future. Now, one thing I think it's a good way to kind of see how this approaches pi, let's look at a little visual here. And this is the way I like to teach it. I'll say this line here is pi. And we have, well, a four up here. So we start off this whole series, we have, okay, if we have a four, it's right here. We subtract the four thirds, that value is some value here below pi, and such. Then we add a four fifths, the value comes up here. Subtract a four sevenths, comes down here. And add a four ninths, it goes here. And we keep going back and forth, back and forth. And it keeps going above and below what the value of pi is and gets closer and closer. Now again, this isn't really drawn to scale, and we can even see some, well, harmonic motion here. So anyway, that's something I, or how I like to visualize this as we do that infinite series, but hopefully you learned something here uh, about, <laughs> I can't really read that anyway. Hope you learned something here about pi, especially on pi day. So I hope you had a fun pi day today and hope this video taught you something about pi and how to calculate infinite series with it. And thanks Gregory and Lightness for this formula. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more of these cool math videos for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching.